Business News. All right, well, welcome back. Uh, of course, uh, closing the achievement gap and getting a higher enrollment out of minority students in the community, of course, is a big goal for community colleges, not only in the Fresno area, but also across the state. And tonight, they have a big event that's going to be held here at a local church. Joining us right now is the pastor of that church, but also one of the members of their advisory council, Pastor Paul Binion. How are you this morning? Good morning. Well, we're excited to hear what's going on. Uh, earlier, you mentioned to us, of course, that you're a member of an advisory council that is trying to get more African-American and other minority students to go to college. What's the event you guys have going on tonight? Well, tonight at the West Side Church, and again, thanks for having me this morning, uh, we're hosting a college fair. And the uh, purpose in which we gather is just not to simply uh, gather people to hear about uh, the problems, but to come up with solutions. And on across the state at yes. different areas, yes. the one for this valley area is going to be taking place at Westside tonight. That's right. Talk to us about the things that this is going to be hosted by the Community College yes. District here in Fresno City, right here in our own backyard. Yes. What are they hoping to do? What are you all hoping to do with students this evening? Well, what we hope to do is because of the realities is that African American enrollment in colleges has been on the decline for a number of years. Also as well, here in our valley, uh, the community colleges are really the main source for training with regard to trades and career opportunities, and our constituency is failing to avail themselves to them. So tonight was going to take place. Uh, we're going to have dinner, of course, and we're mm -hmm. going to have, uh, in fact, the chancellor of our community college will be our, be our keynote speaker. And for folks at home that don't know, the chancellor mm -hmm. is the head of the whole community college system for the state of California. 114 colleges. And so he'll be coming out from Sacramento tonight mm -hmm. to talk to the community. Right. And his goal is really to connect with the students. Connect, the with, connect with the community and really to, to address the issue. But what's really going to take place tonight, uh, after the, we're going to hear from you know, many of our local educational uh, leaders and uh, also a keynote address from Dr. Oakley, we're going to break into groups. And we're going to address the issues. We're going to try to not only talk about the problem, but come up with solutions. And to try to come up with some strategies and with some uh, points where we can, again, act upon uh, and get our folks to, um, turning back to go to college. Uh, but uh, as well, not only to go to college, but even those who don't plan to uh, you know, finish or get an undergraduate mm -hmm. degree. But get people interested in knowing that they can have a life change by changing careers. So for parents that are interested, of course, in having their students come out and hear and learn about some of the colleges in the area, here's the information on the screen there, the town hall and college fair. It's going to be going on. There's the address there. They'll have a raffle and college funds. Also, it sounds like there'll be uh, college representatives from various universities and colleges around yes, the area. Yeah, all of the colleges in the area will be represented. Also, there are many programs that exist on the colleges to assist our students to help them to be successful and to achieve. But we need folks to RSVP. Gotcha. And because we are serving dinner and we want to be able to prepare and plan. And the uh, number to call is 559-720-7930. Pastor Benyon, we appreciate you coming in, of course. Thank you. And thanks to the Fresno City College System for uh, hosting the event. If you want more information about the event, all you have to do is log on to our website, yourcentralvalley.com. And uh, there's the information there on your screen. Stick around. We'll have another check of your weather. More of your news headlines coming up right after the break.